bank attorney. Let's talk about bank attorneys for a minute. Hey everybody, Bizarro here for Be Great in Real Estate. I hope you're having an awesome day. And I just had numerous conversations about this so with some other agents. And I figured it'd be something that we should talk about because it's just one of those nuggets of information that's not really shared in the industry much. And it's important for you to know if you're doing sales. And that's the bank attorney. Maybe you're thinking, oh man, what is the bank attorney? Or, well, I know the bank has an attorney, but I wanted to download this in a minute because it's important. Every bank, if someone's, if a client is financing, they need a bank attorney to represent them. Usually the banks have their person or two people that they just kick all their deals to, okay? But where we see interesting, it's not a conflict, but where we see interesting thing is, technically the client can choose who their bank attorney is and a lot of people don't know this. So they will have their buyer's attorney go to them and say, oh, hey, Matthew, you know, um, I'd really like you to use me as your bank attorney to talk to your bank. So you're gonna get that weird, awkward call from your client being like, I don't get what's going on. My bank attorney said this, or my attorney wants me to be my bank attorney. I don't understand, is this normal? What do I do? And it puts the client in a very awkward situation that they don't know how to handle. And so you need to know about this so you can stay ahead of this. And once they they realize, because what's going on is their attorney is trying to double end the deal. They're trying to represent not only the client, but they're trying to represent the bank so they can get twice legal, nothing wrong with it. However, confusing because the bank has to use whoever the client wants. So if this is happening, you wanna make sure it's one happening early and not happening after the bank attorney has been assigned and things have been going on because the up end that is gonna cause you a great delay. And nobody likes delays, especially now because everything takes forever anyways. But the client can request the bank that they use their attorney, that's a thing. Your client's not gonna know about this, but their attorney, depending on how bad they want another $2,000, is gonna push this really hard. And where you need to be at is you need to make sure this is not something that makes them uncomfortable or you uncomfortable when they ask you, like, I have no idea what's going on. So it is a thing, they can represent it. The positive about representing it is that it can speed up the deal because it's one less extra person. The bank attorney and the buyer's attorney both have to be at the closing, but it's one person handling all the stuff. So it can have benefit if it's a competent attorney and is brought up early and not delayed later. But that's the key. That attorney tries to step in after recognitions are issued and upend everything. It's going to cause two to three weeks delay. So these are just some important things you need to know about the fine details of the business. Because here in Be Great, as you know, we all want to get better together. And that's what we do is educate. So I hope you enjoyed this tip. Love a comment, share, you know that whole drill. Have a beautiful day. We'll see you all soon.